Hey guys, Matt with Modern Artisan here. So recently I built a really unusual uh, shed and uh, really unusual because it incorporates solar panels into the roof. And uh, <clears throat> I've had this idea to do this for a while and I looked and looked online and I could not find, I couldn't believe anybody had not done anything like this. You're unbearably naive. Well, I was born yesterday. So I was picturing like a solar array with a shed built in underneath it. Um, and I just couldn't find anything out there. So uh, basically I designed it from scratch and uh, it was so unusual. I was, even though I had it drawn to scale and could see what it should look like, I was really excited to see what it would actually look like because it's so different. Uh, so anyways, um, I will do a video later, probably a little more in depth on the solar aspect of it. Um, and just the details of the design and, and how that works. Um, this is a little bit more just on the structure and what I did there. So uh, yeah, let's go. So here's a concept that hit home with me about a year ago when I think I, I think Elon Musk is a quote from him, is something to the effect that apparently there's this giant fusion reactor in the sky that's just giving off energy all the time and all we have to do is catch it and use it. And uh, so I, I guess that's obvious to anybody familiar with the concept of the sun, but. I'm Captain Obvious. For me, uh, some lights went on. So uh, I started thinking about solar a lot and about that time I had bought a Tesla and I uh, was just really fascinated with this car and and uh, and how different it is and how you know inexpensive it is to uh, power it and you know virtually maintenance free and all that so got me thinking about a lot of things and uh, so as cheap and great as it is to just fill up or to charge off the Tesla charger in my garage how much better I thought, you know, if, if I was bringing in solar power and charging it with that, you know, and powering the rest of my house with solar power too. So uh, last year I went on a bit of a journey just researching everything I could about uh, about solar and took some classes and and so yeah, here I am and this is, uh, this video is about what I did, so. All right, so that's a shot of my backyard looking down from a drone. Uh, I don't have a ton of southern exposure, which is what you need for solar. That's looking to the right. Had my garage there, and then a little bit of room on my addition uh, facing south. Otherwise, I started looking to the yard for like a ground mount, and that's what got me thinking about putting a shed in that back corner. And so I came up with a pretty simple design. What I thought was simple ended up being a ton of math to figure out the size of the roof and the angles and all that. Uh, really had to brush up on my trigonometry, but I'll save you that because I know how people feel about math. We so here I am uh, doing pretty much the worst part of it here was started removing the sod, uh, got it all marked out, laid out. Um, that was pretty awful, so decided to uh, rent a skid steer and do the rest of it. And uh, Foundation walls weren't required for what I'm doing there for the size of the structure and so forth But I did need to do a thickened slab, which is a basically a slab where the edges Go down to about 18 inches thick or better at, at the edges. So uh, it's kind of like mini foundation walls uh, See so I would get just getting it all laid out and then I formed it up Those are probably two by tens or two by twelves, but uh, set everything level actually had to dig out several extra inches because uh, I want to put compacted rock under the whole slab also uh, so tons and tons and tons of dirt out tons and tons of rock in uh, that was a huge part of the process was just prepping the foundation so like I said uh, slopes up the uh, the slab is only about five inches or so uh, thick in the middle there just slopes down to about 18 inches so yeah we're doing a ton of bracing there i believe it was about six yards of concrete 
maybe a little bit more so it's actually a lot of concrete for a small area like that just because of that thickened edge so it requires a ton of bracing just to hold all that back uh, on the downside we're like probably six inches plus above grade so it takes a lot to to hold that in see i had a couple uh a couple few guys that do this for a living come over and help me can't really have too many guys when you're doing concrete when that truck shows up you need a, need a lot of guys to to move it and and work it before it dries had to um, bury some large J bolts in the concrete those hold the uh, bottom plate of the framed walls that will go on top of that eventually just have to remember not to put those where the overhead door goes all right so here's the framing that's probably my favorite part um, so on this design it's unusual we have uh, one short wall and one long wall and then we the rafters just span in between them I went with two by sixes uh, not a lot of framing so it wasn't a huge cost I like to overbuild things anyways but uh, we actually had the the heights of these walls figured out ahead of time and everything pre-cut so it all worked out uh, all worked out really well once we were on site went really fast there's my first uh, kind of test rafter sitting up there. Um, again, mathematically figured out exactly how long that would be and how to notch it at what angle and dimension. Um, worked out perfectly. So if, if you want to be in the trade, stay in math. Learn your math. So wrap, working the rafters across, uh, the overhangs I did extended them with 2x4s. There's no reason to get 2x10s any longer than they were. Uh, sheeting it, the you probably can't tell from this video, but uh, the, in, the interesting, the unusual thing here is that the subfascia is actually quite a bit taller than the roof. Uh, usually, that would be flush, um, so the sides are sticking up, and basically, that the reason for that is because uh, that's going to give us that finished look with the solar panels. They'll they'll go up flush with the solar panels, so you'll see in the end. Uh, other than that, we just flashed up against that fascia on the inside and shingled it like a normal roof. Uh, skipped ahead a little bit. I think our camera, like my camera battery died, but you can see our iron ridge racking there and phase microinverters under everything so we're instantly converting from DC to AC before it uh, even goes anywhere. Uh, but yeah, otherwise just setting the panels, they're mission 310 watt panels. 16 of them on the shed alone and that is pretty much it here's our finished product here uh, looks really cool uh, so that <clears throat> that's hardy board siding on the outside like the cement board uh, which is real nice kind of gives a little more modern look just seemed like a shed that was cool enough to have panels built into the roof should have a little little cooler, cooler look to it um, I will probably put some black perforated metal between the panels and the shingling at the bottom just to kind of seal that up nice but uh, we need to maintain our venting and air movement under the panels so they operate efficiently okay so i'll do a video soon it'll probably be closer to spring uh just detailing everything i did for solar um the what i did on the shed is just one out of three arrays there's two on my house and then the shed so um, I'll go into detail on, on exactly how that's set up uh, with the microinverters and the Tesla wall battery backup and all that. That's, I think that'd be a, a really cool in-depth video. I had a hard time finding the same type of thing that was really helpful when I was doing mine. So I hope, hopefully I'll come up with a, a video that'll be beneficial for other people. Um, so yeah, hit, um, hit subscribe and uh so you'll know you'll get some notifications when that com comes out and um you know please like it i'm trying to trying to build the channel so you need subscribers and likes thanks for watching if you have any comments just um questions put them in the comments below and i'll try and answer everything you know when i see it so thanks for watching